Another uh, glaucoma-related device that the FDA recently approved is the Zen implant, X-E-N. The, the Zen implant um, helps divert fluid from inside the eye to uh, the layers outside the eye. So it passes aqueous or the clear watery fluid within the eye through the wall of the eye, through the sclera, uh, like traditional glaucoma surgery, very similar to trabeculectomy, but it does it in a more elegant, more controlled, and probably a safer way. It creates a bleb, a little reservoir on the, on the surface of the eye where this fluid collects as it drains out. And, and it is um, a, a procedure that diverts fluid through the wall of the eye. So it introduces the potential for infection going forward. So patients have to know what to look out for. But it's an operation that can very profoundly lower eye pressure. Um, and so some patients aren't candidates for the, the minimally intrusive or the minimally invasive procedures like eye stent or, or SIPAS and they need a more aggressive approach. Or maybe they've had those, those other approaches and it hasn't lowered their pressure adequately. Uh, and in those instances, Zen is a really nice option, a nice uh, new option. Um, one of the limitations right now is that insurance companies are still trying to figure out where it fits in, this, in the scheme. And, and we're having to work through insurance companies to make sure it gets covered. But it is fully FDA approved, and it's only recently become available. And we're, we were part of the U.S. trial, so I've been doing Zen surgery for many years, but now we can do it uh, following FDA approval, which is a, a, great, a great advantage. One other advantage of the Zen procedure is that it doesn't have to be done at the same time as cataract surgery. Uh, with eye stent and SIPAS, those procedures are typically performed at the time of cataract surgery. And if we did it uh, apart from cataract surgery, it's not always covered by insurance. Uh, that will probably change. We'll probably be able to do eye stent and SIPAS as standalone procedures in the future. But for right now, we primarily do those procedures at the time of cataract surgery. With Zen, it doesn't really matter. We can do it with cataract surgery, or we can do it long after cataract surgery, or even before cataract surgery. And uh, that's within the labeling of the FDA. So that's one nice advantage with the Zen procedure.